Yo, hello everyone. Are you ready to conclude your Quartrex survey and collect final responses? In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of closing your Quartrex survey from setting an end date to disabling access and generating final report. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So the first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply head up to your dashboard then create a new project and then let's choose a survey so we can choose any, literally anything it's not really matter it doesn't really matter if it is a survey or not but in our case we are going with it so let's click here and then click on get started through this button here they will take us to this page so just literally give any name so conclusion and here I will just keep it like that, create projects, and here we go. Now, so basically there is two kinds of ending for your own, uh, like your own survey. First of all, when people actually answer, there will be this end of survey message, which is we thank you for your time spent taking the survey. So there is sometimes when people are actually not going to answer you the way you want it. For example, let's go here and create a new block. So let's say that our survey is about football. So if it is about football, we need people that actually watch football and know about football. So I'm going to here click and make a question. I'm going to zoom in for you guys so you can see. And for example here, football, do you watch football and know anything about it so here actually I'm going to make or here the first choice the, fir the first choice I'm going to go with yes and the second is no I'm going to remove maybe so as you can see the moment I wrote yes they give me no and maybe as other answers which is pretty good it's uh, it's like saving time but sometimes yeah you don't really need the maybe so you'll be wasting more time anyway now we are going to create a logic if they answered as yes, that means they are good to go. They can go to the other question, which is, for example, here, let's make it question three. So now what I'm going to do is go directly to question three. And I'm going to click here, go all the way down and click on display logic. Here, as you may notice, go and check questions. Then select question. Go ahead and choose the question that you want, which is do you want to watch football or not anything about it? Then click yes. So that's what it means. If someone has, answer, uh, has actually answered with yes, they will take them to the next question, which is question number three. So let me just test this out for you. So click on yes, click next. And as you can see, it took me to this question number three. Now let's go back, let's refresh, and let's try like to not uh, answer, or to answer, number th uh, or to answer with no. Click yes, and next look where they are going to take us they are actually going to take us to the end of the survey this is where they actually took us now we can actually change the way how they took us and ex explain anything but this is not for our video today today we are just gonna show you how like to make an ending for our survey so now I showed you first how to take people from the first question to the last the end of the survey and now we are going to show you how to put like a late date so when this date will arrive the survey will be closed how to do so simply what you can do as an example you can simply go here and just delete each block of the survey of course that can take some time and it is not that beneficial so in order for you for example to collect uh, the answers you can go to here so go to results and you will get all the results from people. So do you got do you watch football? Here they will show you how much people said no and how many people said yes. So here one person said no, and here no one has actually answered the question number three. So we have only the results of number two. Let's go now to data and analysis. Here in data and analysis, we can actually get the reports in literally any analysis about the answer that we have received. So here's an example. Here we have like in 
June 10th, 2023 at 10, 12 p.m. We had this answer, which is, do you want football or know anything about it? We had no as an answer, and it didn't answer question number three. So here you can actually get literally every data about the answer that you got and you can actually export it and ex import it to your device, manage previous uh, downloads, response import automation, response export automation, and much more. So you can literally do anything through here, make every report, and etc. Of course, there is a specific report section in the dashboard that I will show you next to now, which is simply by clicking over here, clicking on reports, and here you go. So now you can create reports about our survey. So report day 11th 06. Here's size. I'm going to keep it like that. And create. And as you can see, here we can even choose reports for question 2, uh, question 3 reports. Like, it is very easy to create reports through it. It is very cool, guys. You can even give a title, hello, and put it here, for example, or give it a name as reports, uh, like survey reports, something like that. And once you're finished with it, you can simply just click here and download it as a PDF. Let me just show you how it's going to look like. So the export is being generated and will be automatically downloaded not once the file is ready so now all we have to do is wait for it until it is exported and then we will be able to download it in our pc so this is a very very cool extension that i have or option here it is has been successfully downloaded and here it is our survey as pdf and reported so guys, it is very, very easy to make an indent to your uh, survey, to get the answer that you got, to collect everything, to manage everything in the survey. It is pretty easy, guys. And if you want more details, you can just click here into the tools and you can literally change everything. From here, generate test responses, manage reusable choices, collaborate so you can add people, seek a new version, create older version. Here you can print the survey, import survey, export survey. Uh, you can here uh, reset record values. So if you, you, you will reset literally everything from here. So everything will be deleted. Everything will be like reset to the like the normal uh, stats and here finally you can adjust the survey from general like display name, the question numbers, based language, uh, responses, the security and here guys how much time should pass before they are considered as incomplete. Here you can even choose the time when the survey will be done here the security and here the post survey so everything in here is detailed for you you will not never never be lost in this settings everything is made in its own place so yeah guys that was completely it about this video if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will answer all of your questions and thank you guys for staying up till now see you guys in the next tutorial leave a like and bye bye